Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today for the Global Sports Tech Summit. The whole point was it was a test. Uh, it was to see if for Sky subscribers we could create uh, an in-stadium experience which would add to them watching live. And you're going to get people who say, hey, 45 minutes I'm focused, I don't want to have second screen. And you're going to have other fans who are saying, no, that guy went fast. Now, well, hold on, how fast did he go? Um, we launched uh, an amazing uh, biometric age verification and payment system using an IoT uh, autonomous retail unit. So what that means is you can basically buy beer, can cocktails and wine with your face. When you think about it, 1.0, Web which basically was a copy of websites, Right then, you had Web 2.0, which was about um, social media, was connecting with people. Web 3.0 and the metaverse, very often, you know, at the same, you know, you know, mentioned at the same time. It's basically it's it's about this experience thing. It's it's about community. That's that's what uh, the metaverse is about. It means if you don't own it, you cannot sell it in those old worlds. In the new worlds, you can now can sell it. In that in that space, I think the topics we discuss here today whether they are the non-to-be-mentioned NFTs or the to-be-mentioned fan tokens. I think our ways to do that now, I think everybody has said it today, we're still at the start of the journey. I think the first question is, what is a fan in 2022? Uh, I don't think there is a definition of one category of fans uh, that could sum up how the fan can experience in a different way uh, the, the sport, the sport um, experience and the broadcasting. Uh, definitely, this is our top one uh, priority area.